first of all, I'd like to thank all the fans, over you know, 6,100 that came today. Good crowd for a Saturday afternoon game for Monroe at 1 o'clock. A lot of the college playoffs going on, so that made our – that was a good good feeling for our, for our players. Last night we had a six-man gathering. We've got about 215 or 20 in that. We had a big turnout for practice last night. So I think our players – obviously, we're a work in progress – early stages in our program development, but I think our players sense a vibe about basketball and it makes them feel good. And, and, and I think that's a that's a good start. And so, uh, you know, a good way to spend a Saturday. I thought we'd be a very well coached Monroe team, very athletic. Obviously our size was the difference and we played inside out, moved the ball extremely well. Obviously 25 assists on 33 buckets. That's, as, that's about as good as you can get. Blake, you speak about playing inside out. Blake did that probably better than anybody in the first half. And only finished with 17. He had 15 there, 14 in the first half. What do you like about the throw he's made as both ends and how he's playing and fitting Yeah, you know, Ben, he's just, he's starting to score at different levels. Offensive rebound the ball. Uh, his four assists to one turnover is, is really good. You know, he wasn't really getting in the paint and making others better. Excuse me. So that is, that is a lot better. I, I just think that he just, he's just going to keep getting better. And when you're, when you're that talented as a young kid and you're the first guy in the gym every single day, great things go happen to you. You can't beat him to the gym. You can't beat him. I mean, he just he's the first one there, and so he's a delight to coach. And uh, the Rebel fans are going to have a, a, a lot of fun watching him grow over the next three or four years. Brian looks like he's been pretty consistent over the last four games for you offensively. What, what do you see there? Well, just um, – I didn't think he defended very well tonight. I think he got exposed a little bit uh, in the first half, but he's found a good rhythm offensively. You know, he's he's got a really good mid-range game. He's shooting obviously, you know, went four for nine from three. We got to get Brian to where doesn't fall in love with the line. You know, he's got to keep attacking, keep attacking, get to the uh, the free throw line. But you're right, his balance is uh, is getting a lot better. He's taking care of the ball. Uh, tonight, three assists, two turnovers, not too bad. Defensively, it looked like you guys were in some laws today. Did, did you see that? You know, they they run old school motion. I mean, Bobby Knight would be tickled to death if he watched that team play. I mean, they the old school straight cutting, you know, where it's just straight cutting. And and we didn't jump to the ball, and they got us on some straight cutting, and then they cut hard. And I thought in the second half we made some really good adjustments. Instead of going our 13 back to two three zone, went back to fist a bunch. And I thought we guarded much better in the second half. But still, you know, to hold them to 38%, you know, that team, which is a good offensive team, I, I was proud of our guys today. Obviously, very, very, very good at sharing the ball. What do you think has contributed to them being able to share the ball so well early? I just think it's just, a, it's just what we've emphasized. It's who we've been about for years, you know, where we've coached. And, and just trying to get guys to get the ball off the floor. And, and when it gets contagious, then – and guys just feel good. I mean, they just, they feel great. And now that's a huge stat. Everything, it's whatever that you emphasize to your team, that's what you're going to do. And so I'm not saying we have 25 assists, but that's just a huge part. So, you know, we're in the locker room, and we tell our guys we had 25 assists on 33 baskets made. That makes them excited because that's a goal, you know. So I think it's just – it's gotten a little bit contagious. We, we've – getting out of the dribble and start really trying to share the ball. It's been, it's been fun to watch. we got a lot of work to do, though, with that. Had minutes for Dom, he led John plus minus. How did you think he played tonight? I thought he got us off to a great start. You know, we were, I was really proud of Dom and Bruce. You know, we keep a point system, and Dom kind of beat Bruce in this little point system that we keep the last couple of days, so he deserved the start. We went right to him early. He made a nice jump hook in the lane, you know, and, and I thought Bruce's numbers were great. You know, seven rebounds. I thought both those guys. We, when you get in these physical games, especially in this league, I mean, those guys have got to play. They've got to play, and uh, we need more of that. And just hopefully, they'll continue to get better. Kind of trying to help him forget some of the struggles he had in some bad games. How do you, how do you get this to stick in his mind, and I guess build on it? Yeah, you know, it's just, it's just we all try to. Our our team does a good job, you know, of really trying to encourage him and just next play. If you fumble the ball, everybody does. Just next play, go back and make a really good defensive play. And so, I, I think our team. Our players are good with Dom with that, and because uh, they they know we're trying to win, they know Dom can be a huge part of what we're trying to do. Can you talk about Terrence Davis today? What he's done so far this year for you, and what do you expect from him going in the SEC? You know, I, I just I just like the word TD. I mean, he had eight rebounds, 15 points. I, I don't really don't think he maybe shot one bad ball. You know, the, the, probably the one bad ball was the whatever kind of dunk he tried to do. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't. You know. Uh, 
And I, but I thought that he he stayed within himself. You know, he got in. Uh, he, I just I just I just like the way he's at. I really do. He's and he's going to shoot a great percentage. He's got some nights. He's going to go 12 for 16. In the second half, they really just put everybody in the paint, go underneath all the ball screens, and just kind of dared us to shoot. And then we started standing a little bit. But uh, but I, I, I just I like to where TD is. And he and Brian are giving us really good leadership. What about going into SEC? What's got to go up to the next level for him? Um, I, he's got to become a better rebounder. I mean, I know he got eight today, but he's got to be consistent with that. TD's got to be an offensive rebounder at the three position. And so that's something we've talked about. And just leading, taking care of the ball, making smart plays, understanding time of clock at the end of games, which we didn't do very well the other night against uh, uh, San Diego. So he's – but he really is. He's trying like heck, and he's trying to lead, and that's what we're really proud of. Coach, about rebounding with TD, plus 17 tonight. What do you like about the effort on the glass? Yeah, you know – and we should have won 41 to 24 with our size, and because uh, that was a big part of what we are. I, we, we've been we've been the worst offensive rebounding team in the SEC statistically, and so that's something we talked about over the last two days. We've got to go back and get balls, and from Blake, KJ, Don, Bruce, and TD. And so tonight, 13 offensive rebounds is a start. Uh, TD had three of them, and if we can just continue that, then you're going to be able to. That's how you can go on the road against top-level teams in college basketball and win. You got to be able to rebound it. You had Brian Halens in there earlier in the game, but he, he he got taken out a little bit later. He didn't play too much. What what, what, what do you want to see from his improvement? You know, he just just to get practice into a game. You know, he just has a lot of breakdowns right now. Uh, he's got a great heart. He's trying. Uh, great attitude. Doesn't sulk or pout. He just. It's a lot of breakdowns that we're just trying to, and I think when he gets in, he's just trying to press to make a play. And so uh, I have junior college guys that do that, that sometimes just take a, a period of time, and uh, he just got to keep working. You said, Kermit, you wanted to expand your bench. How's the week gone for you in that regard? Luis Rodriguez has really made a step. He really did. I mean, he's, over the last week, I mean, I just we kind of compared Scooter, uh, Zach, and, uh, and Luis. They're kind of fighting for that kind of that eighth slot right there, and uh, and Luis just his numbers, his rebounding numbers, overall activity was better, and that's why his minutes uh, were more tonight. You know, Luis played a he played 11 minutes, had four rebounds and uh, two steals. I thought he's he's going to keep evolving. He's a good player. He's he's still that injury. He's still not right there, and I, I think by mid January he's going to really help us. After the San Diego game, you said the team needed to improve on its maturity you know, while holding a big lead. How do you feel they did? That? We did better tonight. We did. We did better. Now, they didn't really go after us and try to press us, but we did better. And uh, even when we had that last group in there, you know, we talked about trying to win the last three minutes and 29 seconds. And, uh, you know, because all those things, they just they just evolve as the year goes on. And uh, so we, we did better, but they didn't really go get us like San Diego did at the end and try to press us. And then we have to decision make in the half court, you know, so uh, we, we've still got some room to grow there.